and, and go. All right, so while we're on the topic of Bruno and autism, let's talk about the push along Aww. version of Bruno. Now this has to be like my favorite interpretation of Bruno in terms of merchandise. The back is just bland and boring. It's no description? Not... No, it's just a bunch of words, a bunch of languages. You still have this classic Thomas here. You still have these triangle things. You have UK, Canada. Does it have the keep it away from babies? Um, yeah, it has the enough of these side onions. Okay. And it has the FSC logo. Okay. So yeah, this would have been interesting if they had the face on the back. Like how they do with the motorized. Yeah, sometimes they do, and they they used to tell about them. Um, in some versions. Um, the Thomas Wood. Okay. That would have been cool, but. Yep. The carrots themselves look nice. So, here's the push along Bruno. I think, right off the bat, he looks more accurate to. Oh, I like his face so much better. I like how he's based off of a real life brake van. Mhm. Mm he has four wheels instead of two. Mm -hmm. Like there are a few issues I do have with both Bruno's and first I gotta say that he doesn't have a coupling on the back so like how these cars do mm -hmm. so he can't have anything to the back of him but I mean I also wish they could have given him a back coupling as oh, well. Oh he faces backwards? Yeah he faces backwards which is why he has. Gotcha. That's his front coupling. Okay. Yeah. So they didn't give him a back coupling which is strange. I think it would have had more play what value. About the push Still no coupling on the back. But he has the pump jack, which is like... Wait, I it looks like a pump jack. I actually don't know what that is. Does it work or no? Um, No, it doesn't work. It doesn't push down anything. I, I don't think it is a pump jack. It's just shaped like one. I just don't know what this is. If you gotcha. guys know... If you know what this is, tell me in the comments below. He also has the handrails on the back so that no one falls off. It has he, a little window, too. I like it. Even the little hazard stripes. Uh-huh. Okay, so... If you like the face, I respect your opinion, but this is probably one of my least favorite faces. I like this face more. This, like, this captures Bruno way more. Like, look at his promo art on the box. Oh, yeah. I honestly, this is a much better face. He's like, very enthusiastic. This just looks more like a deadpan smug face. Yeah, you're right. I mean, not essentially deadpan. But smug, yeah. But smug, yeah. And not in a good way either. Right. I agree. Also, if they went with this face and just shrunk it, it would have been a little more better. Like, yep. how they did the same thing with the Gordon and his push along version and Kenji, which we'll yeah, talk I'm about. Yeah, they changed it. I mean, that's the thing with like mm -hmm. most motorized and push along trees, how they change the faces. And <coughs> it's really a, a odd how I like there's like a bit of weird faces, and then there's and then every once in a while they pop out a good face. Uh huh. So honestly, like this Bruno is actually a very nice in terms of design and sculpt like how they made him like how they designed him but mm -hmm. it would be better if he didn't look so smug and he actually looked more like this right though you can have your say on the face if you like this face i respect your opinion next we'll take a look at okay we'll do kenji first since i actually like this version more than the morai's version and if it isn't obvious so Okay, the couch came off, but look at Kenji first. Now, I'll admit, like, I think I like his motorized version like, a lot more since it was a little bit better proportion wise. The same. It's like they just ripped the same mold but shrunk it down. I mean, he still has the same, like, front mm -hmm. thing. And he has just four wheels instead of two. But even though this one has two wheels, which is not good, I still like the way his the body looks. Like, mm hmm. This cap feels like it's a little bit squashed. Even like this thing still feels squashed. I don't know what this thing is. It looks like one of those things like he's like an electric train where he like yep. that's the same thing with Etienne, the electric diesel. Okay. Now here's why I prefer the mo push along Kenji more this coach thing. So Kenji originally had a coach in the TV series, like in Big World Big Adventures. So I'm glad they got something right with Kenji. I, it's really light. I, mean, I think he I might. expected it to be heavy. I think he might have a coach in the actual show, but this still bugs me <laughs> and makes me a little, a little bit mad. Like, there's so much missed potential and so much missed opportunity here. 
They had so much opportunity to give him a couch instead of a hopper car. It really, this only like makes me want to like pull this apart and like make my own coach. Oh yeah, you could. Maybe print one. Yeah, but I would And have... use that chassis. I might do that. Right. Also like I don't know why like Hold on. I don't know like why these characters like have a different mm -hmm. truck like Yeah, we talked about that in the last video. They all should have like came with a hopper car with their own color, like yep, the match. Here six minutes. I mean, they should have given Nia a orange, orange. hopper car. Uh -huh. They could have given Thomas a blue hopper car, and they could have given Percy a green, green hopper blue. car. Yep. That would have like made more sense to the show. Like, I don't understand why they had to do it with Kenji of all characters. You never see Kenji with a hopper car. You see him more with a coach. Like this, this one. Yeah, like, streamlined trains don't usually pull hopper cargo, cars. do they? Of any kind. Um, no, they, they pull passengers. I mean, I don't think Connor and Caitlin even pull. I know trucks. of any like, kind. Yeah. They usually pull couches. Like, yeah. I don't think you see them pull any freight cars. I mean, correct... It's like that in real life. I mean, you can correct me if I am wrong, but still, I think that... But the fact that they gave Kenji a coach makes him like... Makes me like him slightly. Like, I don't really care for Kenji all that much as a character, because he doesn't really do much. He's just a character who exists, and he's just, like, window dressing. And the same thing with a lot of other international stereotype characters. Like, you've got so much characters from India, Brazil, China... I mean, Thomas hasn't, like, seen every country in the world. He's just seen a couple, but you know what I mean. You get the picture. Uh-huh. I mean, it's just Big World, Big Adventures. Like, why else wouldn't it be called that if he isn't traveling around the world? So, now let's finally take a look at Carly, and then we'll do the big one last. Okay. So, I think this might be my one of my favorites, but, like, I still think Carly, like, looks weird in terms of design. Like, I don't know why they still had to give her train wheels when she's a crane, not a, like, crane on wheels. Like, we've already gotten, like, Harvey. We have Lofty from Bob the Builder, who I just mentioned. <coughs> but anyways, I, <coughs> I actually like the crane arm much more on this one. It spins more, like... I actually didn't know that this crane could extend a little bit further, like, this oh, length. Oh, that's farther than, yeah. Yeah, that was farther than... It goes twice. Did someone video. tell you, or did you just figure it out? I just figured it out on my own. Cool. But you can like, do the same thing as the other one. You can put it up and down. You can spin it 360. Though it, this one doesn't extend really Does that much. Does it hold the little girl? Yeah, it holds Sandy. Yeah, we were wondering about that. Yeah, Aww, it's... that's so cute. I love this. <laughs> that is adorable. Like... There was a deal in cars like that, remember? Where the um, car had the little sidekick, remember? Um... There was, like, a scene in Bob the Builder where Lofty little... had this magnet, and he was lifting up Dizzy by accident... What was the one in Cars that had the little forklift guy, remember? Um, Guido and Luigi? Yes, they're so cute, like that, um, too. I've, ne I've only seen, like, a few cranes in Cars. There's not, like, a lot of characters. Like, there's just a few, like, miscellaneous trains and airplanes. And not every character's a car, which is interesting. Those are cute. But, like, you got, like, all these, like, different things, like... But, like, I still think this is pretty nice. Does it carry it by the hook in the show? Um, yeah. It... <laughs> she does. Yeah, like... Is it supposed to be your sister or friend or baby um, or what? I don't know. Like they don't say. They don't say like, like this would be great if I did a remake of a Thomas Promise. I would think it would be the sister where mom says, "Take your sister with you," and she's like, "All right, let me hook her up." Yeah. But <laughs> there's like so many conspiracy <laughs> theories I don't know about. Like, That's cute. Who knows? All right. Cute, cute. Now we have the one I've been excited for: the Soda Cup Racers pack. Like, now you can buy Hero. On him, his own, but then did you, you get that for Christmas and not even open um, it yet? Um, I've just been saving it for like cool doing videos. Like, here's the back. It's like an actual promo of the race of the sword cup. Then you have all these different names and the trademark symbols. Okay, you can cut that out, and make a poster if you okay. wanted. My biggest gripe with the box is that they use glue, glue. instead of tape. So like paper cut. Wait, you have it. I don't know why they glued it on instead of taping it. Okay, so everything is in here. Now, I'm not going to talk about the duplicate trains. I'll just show you them. So we have Kana. I'm just going to say that this face is better than the Mirai's one. Mm -hmm. You have Percy. You already have push-alongs of these others? Yeah, I have Percy. I have mm -hmm. Thomas. Now here is all the new stuff. So gotcha. first we have this little accessory, the soda cup trophy, which is the... Very nice. It's like the piston cup from Cars. Yep. Yeah, it's... And spoiler alert, Thomas and Kana had one in the end. They tied? Um, no, they worked as a team. Gotcha. 
And speaking of teams, we have... Wait, we'll start with... Wait, we'll start with my actual two favorites after we talk about these two. So, these two characters are named... Oh, Okay, my. now, here's something I'm going to say. So, here's Riff and Jif, the two twins. <laughs> and... <laughs> so... Alright, so... How is Jif spelled? J, it's it have they have their names on the bottom. Oh, there you go, Riff like, and Jeff. I couldn't tell these two apart when I first got them. Right. I had to look at their. I was. I'm happy that they have their names written on the bottom because then I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. But like, okay, so actually, I will talk about these characters right now since I'm already on my mind. These two are Ferona and Frederico. Yeah, like. Are they Italian? I don't know what they are. Like. Or Latin? I don't know. They do speak English, but, like... They're cool. I don't know what country they're from. So, like, here's my big thing. Like, when I first heard Sir's Legend of the Lost... Sir's Race for the Lost... No. Sorry, if I'm getting tongue twisted. I mean, Race for the Soda Cup is a movie that exists. But, like, these characters also are just there. Like, but, like, I thought these two were Ferona and Frederico, and I thought these two were Riff and Jif. Like, oh, wow. So, like, these two are actually Ferona and Frederico, and these two are Riff and Jif. So, like, I got, like... <coughs> Confu I got confused for a second. So like, but honestly, I honestly wish that. I mean, it would have been like more nice if they were like, that they their names swapped around. But like, still, I still think that these characters are pretty awesome. So, here we have Ferona and Frederico. They have their names on the bottom. Like these two are pretty cool streamlined trains, but they're like the antagonists. These are so, really heavy. They're the, all metal. These guys are the antagonists of Race for the Solar Cup. They like. Make fun of Kana and Thomas, and then, then they crash in the race, and then Thomas and Kana win. You know their faces kind of like, look like, it's like bullies. It's like they got karma in the end. Yep. But yeah, these two like mean business. Like they are like asking for trouble. They look like. Yeah. I also like how they have four wheels and they're like. And their designs are pretty nice. They're pretty nice streamlined trains. Yep. I just don't know what these two are based on, but like. Apparently their names are funny for some reason. Yeah, they're cool. They always yeah. look like clowns. The way they've got the little stars and the colors. Yeah, I also like Ferona and Frederico as characters. <coughs> Wait, then we have um this random uh, diesel with like racing. That's a face. Wait, so why does he have two pupils? It's like he's basically like the same color as Ferona and Frederico because he's like a fan of them. Like oh, he's, okay, he's like supporting them and like encouraging them to win right so it's like if a person wears a t-shirt for the team they like so it's like if you're dressing up like someone that like as a team like if you're wearing like a super bowl jersey right, like you're a fan of which team you want to win super fan so yeah I mean, it's cool but like they also made more race version of this but like i've still preferred these little smug face more like right that here's like my all-time favorite of this pack da -da -da. and it is obvious hero the master of the railway cool A.K.A. my favorite character of We just did Thomas. a big hero, right? We just did the yeah. motorized version. I thought we did. Is face the same or different? Um, I think the eyes might be a little different. It's pretty close if you hold it still for just a second. I mean, that's the same with, like, Carly the Crane. Yeah, here. it's pretty close. Like, the eyes are a little bit different on Carly, but... Hero looks a little bit... I think I like my this version more because of his wheel arrangement. I mean, they also gave him the same wheel arrangement as James, but, like... Probably because, like, they can't, like, actually get his big body because then it would have been around corners. That's the same thing with, like, Wooden Railway and Take Along. I mean, his tender is exactly the same as the Moray's version, just smaller. Yep. He even has the shiny red... I should say they look shiny from here, the way the light's hitting them. The shiny metallic wheels. Like, which is... almost. And that's also a nice touch. I don't think yeah, they... I like it. I don't think you would have that in the original, like, it is 2D animation, but, like... So it would be hard to get something metallic. Mm -hmm. I mean, not... I'm mean, not like entirely true, but like, <coughs> still. Now, I forgot to say, like, here has like a few rivets, like, same thing with Throne and Frederico, so you can't pull them apart and make customs. Like, that's one thing I love about these screw things, like, so you can like mix and match them, right. or, like, paint them in a different color. Like, uh -huh. I plan to make Timothy the Ghost Train if you're excited. Cool. What are you gonna make out of Percy? I'm gonna make Lady from Thomas and Magic Railroad awesome. using this Percy and. I just bought Nia so I can take the face off and put it on there. Cool. But yeah. I do have a spare Gordon that I was going to turn to Henry, but now I don't have to because they're making one. Oh. 
So I don't know what I might do with that one, if you might like to give me ideas. <coughs> but yeah, one thing I do have to say about Hero is the way, like, his smoke defectors look. Like, his funnel is, like, on top of them. You're at 15. So you think that the boiler would still be visible, but the smoke defectors would just be on the sides. Uh-huh. Like, they're, like, connected as one piece, and the funnel's just on top. Like, that is one thing that will... That doesn't make any sense in I real mean, life. I think I might have gotten used to that, but, like, it was still a little bit of a criticism I have. Also, like, his buffers are, like, round on this one, and he has the same buffers as Gordon oh, on this yeah. one, like. <coughs> I just don't think that makes sense. But anyways, I still think Hero is, like, one of the best pushalongs I ever have. Like, next to Kenji, like, he looks... It's nice to have the two Japan boys together. Yep. And I am still sad that Hero left after Big World Big Adventures ended. So, that's basically the whole entire All Just Go Christmas haul. Cool. I think it was pretty nice to, like, have these, like... I would have, like, bought these with my own money if we weren't going to the flea market a few is times. Is the one but... that just came yesterday not All Engines Go? Yeah, it is. Like, I did buy something with okay. my Christmas money, so I hope you're excited for that. Most yeah. of you might. That's kind of a rare one, yeah. isn't it? You can only get it like, in so, one place. If you hate All Engines Go, I do respect your opinion. I understand why, because we like the original more than... Like, sometimes things don't feel the same when you're, like, an adult and things are trying to, like, be more modern. Right. Like, they're modernizing kids' shows that you grew up with. Yep. Which is sort of sad, but, like, we still remember the original as we get older. Like, nostalgia is a big thing. Like, it's amazing at what nostalgia can do to you. It's like... <coughs> anyways. <coughs> okay, so out of all of these, who is your favorite? I think the collection has gotten big. The show might be mediocre, but the merchandise is great quality. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, good night.